Good Friday, Village family. Uh, another Friday e-note for you uh, today. I hope uh, all is well with you and with those that you love. Uh, hey, this Sunday, uh, first of all, it's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day, and I hope that it is a day that uh, is a day of joy uh, for you this weekend. Uh, we've got a great worship service that we've planned for you, and uh, our passage, our, our scripture text, um, is John 13, 1 through 11. You might want to read that. Um, it's the story of Jesus washing the disciples' feet. Um, kind of an awkward moment. Um, uh, I don't know about you. I don't. I don't want anybody washing my feet. Uh, but in in Jesus's day, it wasn't completely uncommon. But what was shocking is the fact that Jesus was doing it. It was. Uh, they probably would have said beneath him. And the response that Peter has, who always speaks for the disciples, is he says, "Don't do that. You you." you you can't wash my feet. I'll never have you wash my feet. Um, I think Peter felt uncomfortable because he didn't feel like it was appropriate for Jesus to be showing this kind of kindness, this kind of love to him. Uh, we might say in our day that he didn't feel like he was enough, that he wasn't important enough. For Jesus to show this kind of love and care for him. I want to unpack that a little bit in our own time uh, to see how sometimes uh, sometimes we think so little of ourselves that it can get in the way of friendship. Uh, sometimes we can uh, be uh, captured by our own questions and our own awareness of our own failings and it can get in the way of friendship. I want to unpack that a little bit uh, this Sunday. I, I hope it'll be inspiring for you and encouraging. Uh, so uh, that's the message. Um, we uh, will have the conclusion of our series uh, next Sunday. And then on the 23rd, we are opening our sanctuaries uh, for in-person worship. Uh, you'll need to register, and we're still going to be wearing masks, and we're going to be doing things to make sure everybody is comfortable and feels comfortable. Uh, you'll hear more about that uh, next week, uh, but we're looking forward to that. Uh, you have noticed that we can't do our ministry apart from our audiovisual and video crew, um, and we need some volunteers for that. Uh, if you're 16 years old or older, um, and would like to help out uh, with our weekly uh, sharing and making sure that our worship service reaches as many people as possible, um, we'd love to hear from you. Um, give us a call. Our, our, uh, our friend Brad Holt uh, can train you. You don't need any experience. Um, he assures that uh, he can train you so that you can help us be uh, the best that we can be. Uh, in, in getting our worship services out there. You need to know uh, that if you're not ready to come in-person worship and we are limiting the numbers, uh, we're still going to be online. We're still going to be online every week, and so uh, that's not going to go away. Uh, if you would like to help with the AV, uh, reach out to my assistant, Marsha, at 913-671-2341 or shoot her an email, uh, marsha.hanson at villagepress.org. Um, and we'll be glad to connect you with Brad. Hey, uh, enjoy uh, this spring weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday, and happy Mother's Day.